Good morning, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Commodity Broker, RGO Futures, October 24th. Morning comments, stock index futures, and I always give you the word of the day. And again, the word of the day is a fundamental dominant force that should carry on. And so we have two words of the day. What we have right now is China, uh, their factory orders in the last seven weeks were weak. Uh, they're a little better. Uh, so there's speculation that they're kind of bottoming out there and kind of a little uptick in activity, which would be good. And remember, I always say, if China sneezed, the world catches a cold. So it's very important for China's economic structure to be sound and rebounding, soft landing versus a hard landing. And we've been getting that in the last month or so. And that's evidenced by the stock market, S&P being up seven points today alone in the December contract. Now, uh, the other word of the day, which will dominate the afternoon is uh, the Federal Reserve, the FOMC announcement. It's a two day meeting. Uh, it's right before the election. Uh, the last time they had a meeting, they announced QE3 and open ended, which they've never done before. Uh, there's been a lot of chit chat that possibly they're going to tweak it and increase it or do something more, uh, more helpful to uh, the United States uh, economy. I think that it's only going to be verbiage. Uh, there's not going to be any concrete change, in my opinion. Um, open end says it all. I mean, 40 billion a month versus 50 billion a month. They really haven't pulled the trigger yet. They're just starting it. That's evidenced by their balance sheet. Uh, so I, I think what they're going to try to do is kind of calm the markets down a little bit. When I say calm the markets down in the last three, four or five days, most of the markets, including the stock index futures, and they probably have been leading the way, have been on a retreat from a bull run. Uh, the bull run, putting the stock index futures up over 15 or 18 percent for the year. We pulled back probably from, let's use uh, the S&P uh, December contract. We were around 1460. We pulled back around 1402 was the low yesterday. We're around um, 1414 uh, right now. That's being up seven, so our settlement yesterday was around 1407. Uh, that's from the China situation. People are gonna hold their breath, volume was low. Uh, that's because they're waiting for any kind of verbiage coming out of the FOMC meeting. Um, I don't really think that we can expect a lot. We did have some kind of housing report. Um, uh, let's see, on the 24th, um, housing price index, FHFA, that's not going to be a mover and a shaker. We had the MBA uh, mortgage index. So really, we're just waiting for the Federal Reserve. Let's take a look at the technical analysis. Uh, right now, we are medium and long-term trend up, short-term trend down. That's evidence when the market in the December future contract crossed over the 10-day moving average and when the uh, exponential 10-day moving average crossed over the simple 10-day moving average. That's one of my favorite indicators. Have said that, um, that would put your trend change if we did rally on a closing basis over 1439 to 1440. Looking at my charts, it's my opinion. Um, right now I'm looking for some good support around 1392, 1395. Uh, that would be the level I would look at if we get disappointing uh, verbiage from the Federal Reserve today. On the way up, you know, obviously we have to go above 1439 or 1440. And then your next thought would be putting the bulls back in control. We would go probably up to our old uh, resistance area that failed three times, and that would be 1460 ish. 59, 62 in that area. So I've given you a lot to kind of hang your hat on uh, for a wait and see kind of attitude. Remember the elections in two weeks and that would probably be a game changer and we'll have more on that in coming uh, 
thoughts coming in the next couple of weeks on the election and who wins and how it will affect the market, which should be very important for the stock index futures. Remember always, remember always, you should be calling me. We can talk about any market you want, fundamental or technical, short term or long term. But the most important thing to remember is when trading futures or option to futures, there is risk and is not suitable for all investors or traders. Good luck, good trading, have a great day.